reckon it had to be January 1960, the second surf that I had with Pa Bendel at Noosa. And we had a surf at first point by ourselves one morning. Then we had a lunch at a little motel on the top of the hill. We went out and surfed National Park in the afternoon, just the two of us. And I took one wave all the way through to Johnson's little cove, all the way to the beach picked up my board and walked back around to Nationals and I thought, man, it'd be fun if there were a few more people here. <laughs> Easy, Nat Young. Nat Young was the most talented surfer I've ever seen, the most natural talent. Nat in the 60s was unbeatable. When he first carved Haleiwa up back in the late 60s in Sunset Beach, the guy was big and strong and he did big, powerful moves on big, powerful waves like nobody before him. Still serves great today. Yeah, Nat's number one. Go, mate. Well, I had three goes at it. When I was 12, I made a, a hollow plywood bodyboard because I hated the 16-foot plywood surfboards that were everywhere, so I made a less than four-foot-long bodyboard. Then when I was 15, I bought a balsa board, dinged up. They were very rare, and I tore the glass off it and reshaped it. So that was my first real shape job. But then I started professional shaping when I was 17 at Scott Dillon's in Brookvale. It was just incredible. George was the king of Santa Barbara. Like he had the boat in the harbour so he could fang out to the islands and surf Santa Rosa and Santa Barbara Island and San Miguel. He uh, had literally a whole Batman car from a Batman movie with a straight eight motor in it and we'd go cruising around Santa Barbara in this ancient movie car. He had a cop car, a Chrysler, still painted up like a cop car, even with the the lights he could swivel. So we'd terrorise at night on the freeway. His kids were hitchhiking and they had to drop their stew all their dope because we thought they were cops. And of course we were surfing Rincon every day. Just the only two people in the water out at indicators making it all the way through to the highway. So living with George in 68, 69, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.